We did it, everybody. We saved the rooster. Um, I want to thank everyone. I have so much to say that uh, I just I typed out my thoughts, and I'm going to read what uh, what it is I had to say, but I definitely want to say thank you, and I want to say this is going to be a long one, but stick with me because it's important. Um, I'm still processing and, and working my way through all the feelings and emotions, but I do want to say thank you for all the love and support we received from this community. Uh, two weeks ago, I genuinely thought that this ride was over. I thought that I had failed, that I let everybody down, and it was very difficult for me. And uh, you know, some some people have told me that it takes more strength to ask for help than to suffer in silence. And I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I really am glad that I asked for help because now we get to continue on with our mission at the Rooster. Um, <clears throat> let me first thank my wife, Christy, and my daughter, Harmony. Um, of course, without them, none of this is possible. They've had a front row seat to this saga for the last two years, and they felt the pain of getting this business off the ground just as much, if not more than me. Um, it's been difficult, but we've stuck together as a family to fight through it, and I can't thank them enough for being my support system at home. To everyone who donated to the campaign, check this out, y'all. Over 400 people made donations, and that's from $5 up to $2,500 donations. Every single donation mattered. We barely got over the goal, and we did it because of you. Uh, that, that's insane. Over 400 people gave their money to keep us in business. I'm never going to get over how awesome that is. I'm committed to making this up to you by keeping live music alive and providing quality entertainment for you all. That's the best way I can think to thank you all is by continuing to book awesome shows and do awesome things. Um, thank you to Ariel and Timmy. Um, Ariel is just as responsible for our success as anybody. Without her help and support and without Timmy, we never stood a chance at raising these funds. Thank you both. I owe you guys big time. <laughs> to my lifelong friends, Justin and Mike, who are behind the scenes helping make the engine run. I love you both. You too, Marty and Tim, that help out with security. Jade Moore and Bob Gregory. Jade, I will always be thankful to you for taking a chance on this place. You didn't have to. You didn't need to, but you did, and I'm always going to appreciate you for that. I always look forward to spending my Wednesday nights with you guys, and I can't thank you enough for how you responded to this situation. You, you never wavered. I never saw doubt in your eyes. You just picked up the torch. You helped spread the word and get the word out to people to raise money, and I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Chris and PJ and sometimes TJ and Josh. That's our sound guys. Those are the unsung heroes that make everyone sound so good on stage. You see them in the booth, but not a lot of you talk to them. But those guys are amazing. Thank you very much. You fellas, you, you, you make my life so much easier. Of course, Melissa behind the bar. Melissa's been a godsend. Um, I, I will never stop believing that she's the best bartender in Gaston County. And uh, I know that I can trust her. Thank you for that, Melissa. And of course, Ron, our podcast producer. You're the man, Ron. And, you know, this might be my place, but these people, the staff, the, they're the reason that you all love this place so much. I can't do any of this without those people. And I wish I could give them all a million dollars, but, uh, but, but that's just not, <laughs> it's not where it's at. They are, they're here because they love this place. So thank you. I feel very fortunate to have such an amazing staff and letting them down was one of my biggest fears in all this. Also, Ricky Mellon, who's basically an honorary employee at this point. Thank you for everything you do, Ricky. I'm not done. Sorry, not sorry. I want to thank John at my bank, who's fought for me tooth and nail throughout this process and was able to convince his management to rework things for us so we can stay in business. John's not just a business associate. He is a friend. Mom and Dad, I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Um, Save the Rooster Benefit Show raised just enough to get us over the finish line, and I want to thank everyone involved. To AJ and Cole, who literally put this thing together within a matter of hours. Those guys are such a joy to work with. I love doing shows with them, and they work so hard for this music scene. Haymaker. Those guys worked all day just to put on that 30-minute performance on our roof, and they made history. <laughs> you gave us this amazing rooftop performance that people are going to be talking about for the rest of their lives. I know I will. So thank you for that. <clears throat> Queen City Rejects, Squirt Vial, Space Daddy, and Wine Mom. That was the original show. Thank you to all four of you guys for allowing us to hijack your show to put on this benefit. 
You have no idea how much I, I, I'm grateful for that. You were all so cool about it, and I thank you very much. To the coursing, Fury 58, the mishaps, and seamless vision for jumping on and playing for free outside on a fucking flatbed. Thank you. You know, <laughs> Icon Pit Crew, you always show up when it matters. Thank you, each and every one of you. Evan... Evan and his old lady spent the whole weekend in Gastonia because of us. All the other businesses they supported, including us, you have Icon to thank for all that influx of business that we had. Um, Todd, Jake, Zach, uh, Rock Lab Records family, thank you for showing up to run sound. I didn't have a sound guy Saturday, so these guys showed up to make sure everybody sounded good, and I really appreciate that. To our open mic family, don't think that I didn't notice how hard you were all pushing this campaign and showing support. The local artists are the ones who would suffer the most without us here, and it was very evident by how much you all care, or how much you all care by the way you guys stepped up and showed and, and, and you know, shared this campaign and got the word out. Thank you for that, Jimmy and Trish, Trace. Mark and Sarah, Anna King, Anna Holloway, Daniel Langdon, Everett Tool, Ross Basil, and everybody that's part of this open mic family. Thank you all so much. You guys mean so much to me. You have no idea. It's my Wednesday night family, y'all. Byron and his team at CityCade, Scott and his team at Cavendish, and Kelsey and your team at the Gaston Poorhouse. These are three businesses that could have looked at this, this situation as an opportunity for them all. The possibility of us going away, they could have looked at us and been like, hell yeah, we're going to get more business because of this. But they didn't. They didn't do that. You all contributed in your own way to make sure we kept our doors open. And I think that that support shows, speaks volumes of the culture and the atmosphere that we have created in downtown Gastonia. Not just us, all of us. We thank you so much for being such good neighbors. If only... Every business in downtown had this attitude. It's truly special, the community we've created, and I'm so grateful to still be a part of it. And lastly, I want to thank Kara at the Gazette and Ken at WSOC TV for taking this story on and helping us spread the word. While it's still a little uncomfortable to kind of be in the spotlight this way, I do appreciate that there's still media organizations out there that are willing to reach out and be part of a solution for local businesses in our area. So thank you for, for the press. Um, I hope I didn't leave anyone out or forget anyone, and I'm sure I did. And if I did, please accept my sincere apologies. I promise you it was not intentional. As I said before, I'm kind of still working my way through all this, and it's really hard to kind of collect all my thoughts right now. There's so much going on in here. But while I'm relieved that we saved the rooster, our work is so far from over. You know, us getting this new deal, it affords us the opportunity to keep going. But now it's truly up to us, and we need you you know, I hope that this situation will serve as a catalyst to kind of wake up the sleeping giant that I believe exists as the local music scene in Gaston County. Um, a lot of people, there's over 300,000 people in Gaston County. Surely some of you people can get out and support shows and be part of this community and part of this family. And, you know, I can't imagine that the support you've seen for, for us in the last two weeks isn't enough to convince any cynic that the rooster is special and deserves your patronage. So if you haven't been yet, then stop wasting time, come to a show, come see what all the fuss is about. And to those that have already been a part of this community, the people that have already been coming to shows, thank you for seeing the value in what we do, and please continue to keep coming to shows. We are, not just me, our whole team, we are committed to providing this community with high-quality entertainment for years to come. We'll continue to book diverse shows, but you have to show up. We'll continue booking shows that people don't, you know, if we, uh, we will not continue to book shows that people don't show up for. So what I'm trying to say is if you want to see more country, come to the country shows. If you want to see more hip hop, come to the hip hop shows. If you want to see more indie, come to the indie shows. Because as long as you show up, we'll keep doing it. But we're done doing shows to empty rooms. So come to the, support the shows that you want to see and we'll keep doing them. I promise you that. All right, I'll stop now. Thank you, everybody. I'm humbled. I'm relieved, and I'm grateful, and I'll be back behind the bar Wednesday night for an open mic. Drop in and say hello and see why so many people love this place so much. I'm sorry this went on for almost 10 minutes, but I wanted to get all of this information out there. I'll uh, put all this out there uh, in text as well. And one last thing, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch Rooster Radio every week. Peace and love.